Tildir, the dust boot guy, Hans Gretel, is probably dead. Now what do I mean by that, and why do I care? Well, this is just something a little bit different and for fun. So this is a bit of an old advert from 2011 for a product called Dust Boot, and it is basically just a very large drinking vessel. However, the advertisement for it is a hilariously hyperbolic, homoerotic piece of pure brilliance. Possibly because while this guy is listing off his fictional diet, I find myself thinking, that's a standard Monday. I wake up early and I hunger for breakfast. Butter milk pancakes, sausage, eggs, bacon, sugar, and cinnamon. God damn it, that sounds amazing. But anyway, on my eighth or so time watching this video through, don't judge me, I began actually thinking about the logistics of a part of this song. Specifically, this bit. Now I'm all dirty and tired and probably needs a shower. Energy drink should do. I just need more than five hours. Now, as someone who does enjoy the occasional caffeinated beverage, I actually began to think, how much caffeine did that guy just ingest, and how dead is he? I suppose this is a rather interesting insight into how my mind works, that a short, few-second-long snippet from an advert then prompts me to spend the next couple of hours reading about caffeinated beverages, the effects of caffeine on the body, and then number-crunching just how much this guy had. This video is a condensed form of that process, because I found it interesting, and hopefully you will too. So in this advert, Hans is drinking from Das Boot. But how large is Das Boot? Well, fortunately, he tells us, in the way that only Hans Gretel can. But how much can the boot hold? Eins, zwei, drei. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Okay, so we've got the measurement of four. But for what? Initially, I'd be tempted to assume pints, because that is the appropriate way of measuring beer. However, going onto the website, they claim that these glasses hold between 40 to 48 fluid ounces. Now, there's various ways of measuring beer outside of pints, and that is in fluid ounce size cans, which vary from 24 to 20 to 16 and 12. And the best way for the four number to fit into that is with a 12 ounce can. And looking at how Dust Boot is being filled in the advert, it would appear that that's what they're talking about. Four 12 ounce cans. And for lunch, I want the Wiener. Schnitzel, ooh, yeah, I gotta have served with my turf and wash it down with some butter. Next up, what kind of energy drink is Hans drinking? Well, that's pretty simple. It's five hour energy, specifically the berry variety, which is, of course, the correct kind to be drinking. And checking up on their website, five hour energy comes in 58 milliliter bottles. So now for a bit of maths. 48 fluid ounces gives us 1,363 milliliters, which because of the 0.83, we're just going to round up to 1,364 for the sake of simplicity. So to work out how many bottles of 5 hour we would need to get that amount, we're just going to divide that by 58 milliliters, which gives us 23.5. So in order to fill dust boot, you would have to stick 23 and a half bottles of 5 hour energy into it. So how much caffeine is there in a 5-hour energy shot? Well, they seem to be surprisingly cryptic about it on their website. Fortunately, however, they have a video which actually tells you in milligrams. And the answer is 200. So now we have all of the numbers necessary to work out just how dead Hans Gretel actually is. So four small beer cans worth of volume, made up of 23 and a half shots of 5-hour energy. Each shot contains 200 milligrams of caffeine. Hans Gretel has just ingested 4,700 milligrams of caffeine. That's 4.7 grams. That's the equivalent of just over one teaspoon's worth of pure pharmaceutical grade caffeine powder. Dinner is simple. I always eat the same thing. Soba, goulash, bratwurst, spatzel, has some pepper and mayo. Now, death from caffeine overdose is quite a rare occurrence, since it requires quite a large amount. General recommended intake is nothing in excess of about 400 milligrams per day for a healthy adult but there have been cases of people going over this limit by quite large margins. Looking at a paper dealing with fatal caffeine overdoses, specifically focusing on two cases, suggests that fatal caffeine overdoses in adults are relatively rare and require the ingestion of a large quantity of the drug, typically in excess of 5 grams. So that 4.7 grams of caffeine that Hans has just cannonballed is definitely approaching the fatal threshold, especially ingesting it all in one go. 
Of course, we would have to factor in other things such as his body mass and his metabolic rate in order to know exactly how much he would be able to tolerate caffeine-wise. And without knowing those things, it's kind of difficult to say exactly. Doubly so, given that different organizations have different subjective ideas about what a safe amount of caffeine is to ingest both within 24-hour periods and per kilo of body weight. But no matter how many ways you slice this, our dear Hans is probably dead, and if he is somehow lucky enough to survive this, he will almost definitely be hospitalized, and quite possibly subsequently die from the absurd amount of B vitamins that he will have ingested. While B vitamins are very difficult to overdose on, in fact some organizations don't even recognize an upper limit for B vitamin ingestion. However, after ingesting several thousand times a recommended daily intake of B vitamins in such a short time, it's very possible that Hans will find himself jaundiced as his liver shuts down, and he may end up with severe nerve damage. As always, when it comes to these highly caffeinated beverages, if the caffeine doesn't get you, something else in them will. In fact, it's usually the something else that gets you before the caffeine. In a lot of cases, it's the sugar, but this particular drink is sugar-free. So I guess he might have just dodged that diabetes bullet for now. And to top it all off, I think the cake looks amazing. There's just one thing I change, I think it goes without saying. So that was just something a little bit fun to think about. Yes, this is what I consider to be fun. But you know what else is fun? This. Thank you.